here at Wentworth Douglas, we know it's a challenging time in our country and in our community. We have to make some changes to our policies, such as limiting visitors and offering video classes online. But we do want to reassure you that we are here to provide the same level of care that you've come to expect from us. All of us here on Women and Children are excited to be part of your birth experience. We look forward to taking care of you. Although the entryway looks like it's closed, we're still having all of our pregnant patients come through the garrison wing doors to seek care up on women and children. So when you arrive, please come through these doors, which will be unlocked. Pick up the phone. Even though it says after hours, it's for our pregnant patients coming through any time of the day. Pick up the phone. Security will ask you a few questions about your health status at this time. And then they'll direct you upstairs or they'll call someone down to meet with you. Take elevators 13 and 14 to the second floor. Once you arrive on Women and Children's, you'll be able to go to the registration desk where they will ask you a few more questions. Call a nurse to come down and escort you to your room. If you come when the registration desk is closed, there's another phone right over here that you can pick up and also talk to um, one of the nurses on the other end. And again, someone will come down and escort you. Welcome to one of our rooms on women and children's here at Wentworth Douglas Hospital. When you stay here with us to have your baby, our rooms are considered LDRPs, labor, deliver, recover, and postpartum. That means when you come in to have your baby, you typically stay in the same room for your whole process. You'll birth your baby in here, we'll do all of the recovery, and then you'll stay here until you're able to take your baby home. On occasion, we do ask families to relocate to another room on the floor. That's pretty rare, but if it does happen to you, our staff will explain the reason why and we'll make sure you're still in a very comfortable room, just like this. As you can see, our rooms are quite spacious. That gives you the ability to do all kinds of things in labor, not just stay in the bed. Sometimes people will want to rest in the bed, or you may need to be in the bed in the case of an epidural. But if you're laboring without interventions and you would prefer to be up moving around the room, there's all kinds of opportunities to do that here. We have birth balls available. We also have peanut balls available, a squat bar, a birthing stool, and several other comfort measures that your providers while you're here can share with you and tell you about. While you're here, we have monitoring that will happen sometimes intermittently and sometimes continuously. That entirely depends on how your labor is going. If we can keep you off the monitors so you have more freedom to move about the room, that's certainly our goal. If you need continuous monitoring, your providers will explain why, and we can provide you with telemetry. That means we have wireless monitors that you can use to be continuously monitored, but have more freedom of movement about the room. Now let's talk about a couple things we have in the room designed to help you be more comfortable while you're here. First of all, during your labor, we have this positions for labor chart. This chart was designed to give you some ideas of positions that are helpful in progressing labor, helpful in creating comfort in labor. Most people find that laying in the bed is not the most comfortable way to do their labor. It's also not the most productive way to encourage labor and your baby's progress down. Let's take a closer look at some of the positions you might use during your labor time. Also, if you have any music playlists or any um, streaming music that you really love to use, consider bringing in a wireless speaker or a laptop or something that you can use that for. We do have Wi-Fi available to you, but we do not have speakers or docking stations in every room. We also encourage you to remember your chargers because we don't have those available either. So remember your electronic chargers when you're packing and any resources you want for quiet and comfort while you're here. 
Every room comes equipped with a sound machine to help with rest and relaxation while you're here. We have food available as you're hungry, and you can order essentially at breakfast, lunch, and dinner around those times when you're hungry. Here on this unit, we do feed partners too. So when you order a meal, don't be afraid to order two meals. That way both of you can eat and no one needs to leave uh, while you're in that critical time of bonding with your baby. All right, let's take a look at this side of the room. If you have a partner who's staying with you for any part of your labor um, and stay with us here, we have an area for them to rest as well. So this couch, the top cushion pulls down to make a slightly more comfortable surface for sleeping on. We can provide pillows and blankets for a partner staying with you or a family member staying with you as well. This area of the room is where I recommend you put your personal belongings. In this location, nothing you have um, should be disturbed by any of our staff members needing to access things behind cabinets and such. So feel free to store your things here. We also provide a refrigerator in every room, so if you have food and beverage you'd like to bring from home, I would recommend bringing that. You can store it right here in your room. The other thing I want to point out is our board here. This is going to be a communication board for you while you're here. We believe in nothing about me without me. What that means is when we're changing shifts or we're talking about something that's happening um, in your care plan, we are going to be in the room talking in front of you so that you're part of that conversation. We're all in this together here. So you certainly have the option to opt out of that. If you're resting and you don't want to be disturbed, we can do that outside of the room too. Each room is equipped with a large private bathroom. Some people find that running warm water over their back and abdomen area is quite soothing during labor. Additionally, we have a large jacuzzi tub available for laboring in. If you need to have a C-section, our OR is located right on our labor floor. Let's go take a look inside. We perform what's called a gentle cesarean here at Wentworth Douglas, which means that as long as baby is doing well, he or she can come right onto your skin after delivery and baby can stay in the OR with you the entire time. Once everything is done, you, um, your partner and baby will go back to the room as a unit to recover. We hope you've enjoyed our virtual tour. We realize you may still have questions at this time and we encourage you to use our website and our free Seacoast Babies app for updates, as well as lots of information on how to prepare for labor and what to expect bringing your baby home. We are also offering online classes at this time and we encourage you to take advantage of those as well. We look forward to meeting you and being a part of this very important time in your life. See you soon.